Okay, I'm gonna call the meeting order. It's six thirty one. Recording in progress. Okay. I'm just gonna keep tabs on my email. Do we have any additions to the agenda? Um I asked to have an appointment of uh, John Boucher as second animal control officer uh, added to the agenda. Oh. And I wanted to ask about the part-time road employee um, on the hours, because I remember we had a discussion. They had to be kept below 24 and they're always over. So that was just, I'd like to answer like, that. Yeah. So I'll put it on another business. Thank you. And your, um, Animal control officer items. Okay. Review of minutes March 18th, March 25th, and March 27th. Ooh. Wow. Sorry, everybody. It's all right. Wow. I'm still trying to get it. So let's see. March 18th, I have it again. Who produced these? Probably me. Yes, Probably you. you. Okay. So, Mr. Chair, yes, sir. I'll make a motion to accept. Okay. Carl has Carl a has and, and I and I have some corrections. Oh yeah. Do we have a second on that? No. You just have one, your motion. Somebody else has to second. It. No second. Do you want? Second? I'll second it. No, you second, second it, and then we have the. Yeah, that we, that's what we're going to do. Oh, okay. Do. okay. We have a second. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes. Yes. yes um, under town garage project owners representative, yes. I think the word should be BIS construction consultants was in attendance rather than will be in attendance because it was physically here. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, under, under the appointments, I understand it was a lengthy whole thing. <clears throat> it's, it's not customary to list for in the minutes for public record, who was appointed? Have to go back and look at previous. I don't do you know, know. Do you know um, Carl or Seth? Yeah, I believe I requested at the time that when the minutes are put together, that the slate be appended to the minutes, the slate from the uh, that we used for that meeting. I think it makes sense as a public record to have. Yeah. If that's what would normally it, happens. Would that involve me typing it all into it or just having a slate we'll cut, document we'll cut and paste attached it. to it? No, it, it's a separate PDF document already. So you just need to merge the two PDF documents. Like, Thank you. I, I can't about. tell you how to do that on a PC, but it's it's easy on a Mac. Yeah, well, all those automatic, all those it's appointments. It's not as easy on a PC. Like John Mueller. Yeah, 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 right. Just so the yeah. public knows who's appointed. Right. And us for the record. So when you send me the final minutes, then I'll, which I think I just know what changed. Now I could easily add that in Adobe. Awesome, thanks. And I have one more comment. When we went into <clears throat> executive session for personnel matter, we have the time that we left, but I don't think we have the time that we went in on page three on the bottom. Right. Personnel matter. Yep. There's no time That's that true. we went into executive session. Go back. I'll go back in the the movie and look. Well, fifteen minutes before or right. do whatever. Just put something. So I have a question about the sibling part. Are you done? I am. Thank you. Okay, Carl. I think. I'm okay. Oh, Carl, go ahead, Carl. Yeah. So a uh, couple things. Um, for at the bottom of page one and the top of page two, the word "refused." I believe the word should be "recused." Refused. <laughs> I did my best to hear. Yeah, R R E C U S E D. Yeah. I I heard refuse. No worries, though. You're not fired. Yeah. <laughs> please, please. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, we might not have a, a chair and a vice chair right now if they both refused. Yeah. And um, <laughs> just um, at the bottom of page three, I'm not sure why that line is in green. Me neither. Okay. Like me. Beats me. The expense one. I, is it, you're thinking green now. I That's don't good. think I. Time. It was. I don't think it was green when I. That's how you're talking. You have to do weird things too when you PDF. So you have the two recounts. 
the two, the two spots, right? There's another yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. That's it for me. Okay, I got a question about the Sibley thing. I thought we were, I, okay, so it wasn't agreed to consensus the select would not be involved. It was put off to a different agenda. Okay, right? they will be at the next meeting. That's right, I, I did oh, okay. email them. So you saw that, right, Gina? Mm -hmm. I, but I don't know, I'm not even, whatever. I, I, I agree, <laughs> it shouldn't be involved, but, but they're coming anyway. So it okay. wasn't, yeah. that wasn't, ha that didn't happen. I was, con I was not, it was um, put off to the April 22nd agenda. Oh, okay. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, they had wanted to attend this meeting, but yes. timing with agendas yes. pushes things yeah. a little later. It was a long drive. Typically, we try to have people yes. at the beginning of a meeting. This one yeah. was kind of already spoken for. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're good. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Fair to have it, they do have it. That takes care of the March 18th. Then we've got March 25th. March 25th. Make a motion to accept the minutes. You are you seconding, Carl? I'll second it and I'll also raise my, my hand. Okay. comment uh any further discussion yes uh, uh, so the top line uh the date should be march 25th oh boy and then after chair gardner called the meeting to order at 501 p.m since additions to the agenda and public comment were on the agenda then I think you just add there were no additions to the agenda or public comment. I changed the date on the version. Okay, well, our copy has oh, it. Oh, the one know. online has uh, March something else. Something else. Okay. And then um, after okay. minutes, no minutes to review before the motion should say what what the um, topic is. So it's personnel matter. Okay. It says March twenty fifth. So, Gina, the link Tom says says March 25th on the link. Okay. We, we, we know. It's, it's good. Oh, no. It's Tom and he wants to join the meeting. Oh. Cool. So, Scott's protesting you joining the meeting. Is that correct, Scott? That's not correct. No. <laughs> <laughs> of, yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to exercise democracy here, but I have a lot of pushback. You, no, you have wax in your ears. <laughs> So Gina is working on it. So I get off the phone now. Because Tom is, I mean, Scott is raising his hand up and down like this. The ID, unfortunately, I can't get the click because I'm in the meeting. But the ID matches up with the one that's on here. The one that's on the website. He's trying to click on He's clicking on the I can't click the I can't click the link because I'm in Zoom. He's trying to Oh. Yeah, he's trying to click in, so I'm trying to let him in. Rosie's in, I'm not sure. And Carl didn't have trouble getting in. Is he clicking on the wrong board meeting? Well, he is zooming in. I don't know what he, he's using. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. The Under the, we're still on the 25th. Um, yeah, on the minutes. Right. We need a time that we went into executive session again. Right. Time, yeah. Do we have when we got out? Yes. Yeah, 844. Right. I just clicked on the link on our website via my phone and I'm now in the waiting room. Hi. Hi. I'm Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Come Jennifer. On Come on in. We're still. So I just went on the website on my phone, clicked the link, and it tried to take me into the meeting. Trying to take you into what? It, I came into the waiting room. Okay. I mean, you can always use my computer if so I'm not sure. that would that help. Huh? No, I mean, I just. I just came into the yeah I know is he so I'm not sure does he have the right board meeting he said March That's, 25th that's what he told me 
Well, the, well this there's is April, an 1st. April 1st I know. post on Very the website. Good. <laughs> and that's what I went to. I went to the April 1st post on the website. I clicked on the April 1 meeting Zoom link, and then I came into the waiting room here. Oh, I so did Tom not admit has, myself, but so right. Tom has the wrong link. He, he's clicking into the so March back, 25th. The wrong he's link. clicking yeah. into the March 25th meeting. Ask him to go to the website and click on that. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. The meeting ID on the agenda is the correct meeting ID. And then, uh, Zo if I may continue on the minutes, um, sure, Zoe, sure. it's it, it uh, since you're new at this, it's it's um, I'm sure something that you'll be doing, but just uh, to highlight it, the lower left corner and the upper right corner to uh, make those correct sure, for yeah. these minutes. Because you're going to go, what do you mean they should go to the website and click on the meeting, right? Lower left corner, uh, where it says 202 XXX East Montpelier Select Board Minutes Draft. You know, put in the correct date and take away draft. Okay. That's, right. that's what they're saying. You can go to the April. In the meeting. footer? Okay. okay. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't know if I can take away the draft in the online version of the word that I'm using. Okay, I didn't hear that. I can only use a like a, a browser version of Microsoft Word with a laptop that I'm using, and I don't know how to take away the draft. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't select it with my yeah. cursor. Yeah. So I yeah, I, I had I had some problems with that too, and I was able to click on the footer tab or the header tab on the right and get access to it. I will definitely need some assistance from someone because okay. I am not literate in this, unfortunately. We've been searching for someone to take notes. Our last person who was with us for years left. Okay. So Zoe has graciously- Very, Various select board members have filled in. Yeah. Or, or tried to, to fill in. So it's a challenging, but, but it's okay. <laughs> Who knew that taking notes could be so challenging? So I am I am making those changes in the online version that you shared with me. Oh, great. Which change to the, the remote select board attendance or? E editing the header and footer. Okay, sounds good. Can we move this along or? Sure. No more corrections? So Carl, I'd like to move these minutes along. Yeah, fine. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. With the amendments. With yes. the amendments. Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay, the March 25th minutes have passed. Uh, let's go to the March 27th minutes. I like the one page. This is in the novella. Yes. Motion to accept Scott's the minutes. Scott's going to make a motion. We need a second. I just picked up all at once. I'll second. Okay, Zoe's going to make the second. Uh, any further discussion? Guess, oh, what, guess what I'm going to say. I know what you're going to say. It's no time for going into executive session. Is that thank, correct? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, at least I'm reading the minutes. Very good. Is that That's so accepted, right? Mm -hmm. You don't you read the minutes? I'm going to get a couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm accepting comments and corrections on the minutes. Do we have any? Tom? Carl? Yes. Yeah, um, just I would add after in person public attendance, none. I would add the word none. And also after remote public attendance, none, just so it doesn't look like we forgot to put that in there. That's a good idea. And so also under the line additions to the agenda, none, since public comment was also on the agenda, I'd also add public comment, none, even if it's even if it's redundant, uh, since there's no members of the public there. And then again, before the motion, the um, the agenda item needs to be in there. So personnel matter right above the motion. And of course the time. Yeah. Why don't you got the time going out? You can space the time going in. <laughs> I mean, time's on your mind, but only on one end. 
one waits for no one. Very good. I like that thing. It's kind of a cliche, I don't know. Um, okay. Just so okay. Okay, everyone done commenting about the minutes? All those in favor, please say aye. With? With the corrections. Ayes. Comments. No, no comment. All right. The ayes appear to have, they do have it. Okay, we're done with the minutes. That was painful. Uh, any public comment? None. Okay, now we got to ask the candidate one. Are you candidate one? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I think so. That's kind of matches. <laughs> yes. Um, we have to have a board work session. Yes. So we were going to just talk about questions and that kind exactly. of Exactly. Executive session. Yes. Without the candidate. In. Exactly. Okay. okay. So we need you to step out again. Okay. Just for a minute. Sorry. And we're, we're going to shut some doors and then we'll call you in. <laughs> but, don't, but don't run away. Yeah. You want to grab that door? Yes, there? I will. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you go ahead. Yeah, thank you. You should ask. Sorry, is there a bathroom? There's a bathroom up there. Sure. Oh, I don't. I don't mean to overstep. Did you ask for the bathroom? No. No. Did you offer a drink? Um, I would have brought a six pack, but you didn't. <laughs> yes, Carl. You have your hand up. No. I move to go into executive session under one VSA three thirteen A three, etc. At six forty eight. Out of executive session. Oh, are you ready to start? Okay. I have executive session at eight o'clock. Got it. No action was taken. Oh, you would like to do something? Yeah. Good. I'd like to make a motion to offer um, Jennifer Devine the position of town administrator and authorize Seth Gardner. Um, Select board chair to negotiate the terms. Okay. Second. I believe I believe the motion was to offer the interviewed candidate the position. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I thought too, but whatever. And Don't. and the, the motion is also um to offer her the position on the grounds that she is the most qualified candidate, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. Thanks for the uh <laughs> edit. Thanks for edit. the <laughs> thanks for the spanking. <laughs> Legitimately, Carl. Public spanking. <laughs> yeah. du du duly. <laughs> duly noted. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And we had a second. Tom seconded it, I think, first. And is there further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Have it. They do have it. Okay. Um, so I would like to move on to the next item, which is finalization of town meeting minutes. You have two long pieces. I do. Oh, I have so those one you gave me the other day. Too. Well, we have a new long version. Oh, okay. So the short version stayed the same, but the long version is, is new. So okay. you have those and are in legal because gotcha. Rosie needs those in legal. So yeah. So I think the question was which one of these versions we're going to correct, or I mean, <laughs> Enter <laughs> or approve. Yeah. Seth, can I make a suggestion? Yes. Sure. I did a short and a long version because I've been hearing some discussion in previous meetings about whether shorter minutes would be more appropriate in other circumstances. Given yeah. that, given that the town meeting minutes are the physical minutes in the town book and part of the his, historical record. I guess oh. I would like to, I would like to just suggest that we ditch the short version and consider only the long version, which is the most complete. Okay. That was going to be my sentiment. Um, Carl and I had a, I think we were on the same plane with that at the last meeting. Um, yep. I'm very much in favor of keeping the long version for the exactly the reasoning that yeah, um, I would be vehemently against just the short version. Okay, so one of the reasons I've mentioned shorter minutes in our select board is we've had a hard time pe to find people to keep the minutes. So I want to keep at least a statutory requirement, which the short minutes do fulfill. Now, obviously, this is different. We had Rosie put together a lot of minutes, so I agree that the law minutes are appropriate in the circumstance. So there you go. Uh, novella is okay. 
So, okay, so let's work off the long minutes. Uh -huh. So at this point, we are accepting comments, corrections, et cetera. Scott, have your name up, you have your hand up. Yeah, so, um, so. we had talked last time about scrubbing this for typos and for whatever. Yeah. I honestly never read it. If somebody, if Carl, if you read it or anybody else has scrubbed it, then I would be comfortable accepting it. If not, I would recommend tabling it to the next meeting, in which case I would certainly read through it. No, I, I have some suggestions. Sure. Yeah, there's some. Okay. So you, you have know, read the long version, Carl? I have, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Okay. So I can I can email this to you later, Rosie. Uh, but uh, just to get them out there, they're not very many of them. But uh, in Article One, um, there was one. Uh, most of the elections were unopposed, but there was one opposed election for the select board member, the three year term. And I, I think um, it's consistent with our practice in recording yes and no votes elsewhere in the minutes on budget items to acknowledge that Nick Kosla also won or uh, ran for this uh, seat and the number of votes that he got. Okay, I can put his uh, name and votes in there, sure. Thank you. And then just a little tiny one under Article 2, the um, the second bullet point, um, it should be uh, the third line, Sander Circle and Sodom Pond Road culverts have been fixed. Yeah, have been, yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, I'm not seeing that, but if you can. It'll be in what I tell you. Okay. okay. And then at the very bottom, um, the firm hired, the very last line, the firm hired is VISCC is a full name if you're doing it only in acronyms or only in um, letters. It's uh, VIS Construction Consulting, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And. And then finally, in Article 13, this is a longer one, uh, but um, the sixth line from the bottom, the one that begins, Mr. Etnayer said RCT, uh, there are, I'd suggest striking those two sentences, the one that also begins, if ridership increases, and saying, Mr. Etnayer said new rural bus routes are generally only put in place after a VTRANS subsidized commuter van has operated successfully and demonstrated demand. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll send that to you. That that's all I had. All right. And I appreciate the details. There's, yeah. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Oh, just one more little thing on page two under article three. Yeah. Uh, about a little less than halfway through there's a, uh, Oh, it's not even a set. It's a sentence it says be performed. Yeah. And there's no punctuation after it before another sentence has started. Yeah, what is Zoe, can you, can you say that again, Zoe? I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. It's a Chris Pratt one. You just send it to me. Yeah, I can just send it to you. Now, what is it supposed to say, though? Oh, it should be recommended a carbon analysis be performed, period. Oh, Instead of just analysis, just be performed. Okay, there you go. And put uh, a period okay. at the end. Right. After performing. Thank you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was confused. Like, what's that? Also, I, know, I, I missed this before, but Carol Dixon spells her name without an E at the end. Okay. Well, this historical document, I think we should vote on tonight. I move that we accept the long version of the town meeting minutes for 2024. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Just that if those of you who are there wish to sign it, I think that these changes can easily be made without changing the pagination. I want to thank you, Rosie, for putting yes. all the work into this. Yeah. This is a yeah, lot of work. Absolutely. You did a really nice job on yes, it. Yes, thank you. Yeah, and it's a very good point about the long version. So, uh, go back and watch the video too to, to actually capture all of this. Yeah. She was pulled away for about 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, this is a tremendous amount of work. Thank you. But thank you.
Um, so there's no more comments, et cetera, so I'm going to call the vote on it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Carl, you can send those to me, you said? I'm about, I'm about to do that, yep. Thank you. Nice job. Absolutely. Uh, and Zoe, I was able to make that change while we were talking. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda is consideration of planning commission candidates. How many candidates do we have? Two. 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 Yeah, I'm one. Okay. Are you a candidate? I'm one. Well, come on up to the table. Is there anywhere you'd like to? Yeah, there's three chairs there. Anywhere at this point. We have a series of 15 questions that we're going to ask. <laughs> oh, 15? What, 15? Well, I asked for you. Yeah, okay. I asked for okay. There are more about 15 questions than you. There's 15 questions that we can ask. In a bit. Just give me time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to state that I'm very impressed that you came in person. Thank you. Okay. All right. You want to zoom in? No. Well, you're expecting to zoom in. No. Those can be least on. Don't bother. Correct. That's not very nice. I'm not. I'm not. You're not defending. It's not an editor over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I see your I see your resume. I'm going to ask you to take care of us. We don't have to be, so that's why she's not. Oh, is that what happened? Well, well, why did you say that? Because I'm ignorant. Always stress the fact in person is the best. Zooming in is a last recourse. Okay. I know that we live in a modern world. I see she's not even on Zoom. I said she just didn't have to use it at all. Yeah, she's not even on Zoom. Right, exactly. Mr. That's Select Chair, can we move on? Well, you're in a hurry, Jenny, aren't you? Are you hungry? <laughs> no, I'm here. You can make a motion. You can make a motion. <laughs> oh, no. So That's okay. I, have a, I, have I want to read this thing. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Mm -hmm. There's two open positions yes. on, on the County Commission. There's two, and they, they there's been a movement to make the planning commission small to accommodate the fact they didn't have two members on it. Really? I'm like, that's not a very good idea. No, I'm not kidding. You. Oh. Would you like to make any further comments in, in your defense? I just next time I'll zoom. <laughs> you will? No, no I just no. I, I enjoy this. We love to see you. Yeah. We appreciate hey, is... the fact you're coming in, sir. Thank yes. you. No, you do. Thank you. Despite what anybody else is saying, <laughs> hey, I was on the select, I was on the planning commission for ten years, yeah. twelve years. So you live on Johnson Road, eh? Yes. Where, right? Right, uh, side? right side. Yep, next to Chris Pauline's old house. Um, the Pauline's house? No, it was um, uh, Jared um, uh, Lemire. Um, oh yeah. And then it was it was three people: Lemire's, and then there were someone before us. I forget because I'm nervous. And then it was us. Why would you be nervous? I'm, it's talking publicly. You know, oh, okay. Just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just, we're just a bunch of knuckleheads. Don't be, don't be. Oh, yeah. and speak for yourself. Yeah, what to say. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not <laughs> not well, it gets me off the hook to say. So, so is it so. where it is? It still um, class three on yep. Johnson Road? Yep. So we, 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 we still maintain it. Um, town doesn't maintain it. Oh, the town does not. Town okay, does so not. you're on class four. Class four, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, you're not on class three road. That's okay. correct. Okay, I know where you are. Yep. It's, yeah. it's this right by John's house. Yeah. And we're after that. Yeah. After Eric. Yeah. Eric's, I think, the last one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Um, well, you you definitely have a background that would work on the planning commission. Um, so do you have any solutions for the problems that you've enumerated here? I, I don't think I have any solutions. I mean, this has all been a learning curve. We, we've only been here for, for five years or so. Yeah. And it's been a learning curve the entire time. Yeah. Um, there are some things that I see that, oh, that I wonder why that is. Yeah. But then learning why things are the way they are helps me learn the way it is. Um, the only problem that I that I have seen, having worked in uh, grocery stores and working at the DMV now, is that there's lots of young people who just can't afford to live here. Yeah. Um, and I've worked at a I worked at the Adamant Co-op and there was a lot of older people there. Yeah. And you see these discrepancies between why, why where are the young people? Yeah. And whether well, you don't have a solution there. I, I do not have this. I mean, uh, you know, 
if, if someone was talking to me and we were having, I don't drink anymore, but if I was having a cup of coffee and someone's having a beer uh -huh. and you know, say, oh yeah, you know, cluster subdivisions, I've seen them work in, uh -huh. in other towns. Uh -huh bunch of houses with a lot of open space uh -huh. then what are the implications for infrastructure once you start doing that uh -huh. all the schools and all those sorts of things uh -huh. um, i know that um the sewer system here is not really there's nothing you know that, that kind no of tanks a lot of possible right exactly so that's 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 a problem um well, that's but, not going to be solved easily i can hear that how how, how? Was that? It's not going to be solved. It's not going to be solved. solved. No, no, okay, it's right. very expensive. There's been right. study after study after study. You know, it's a challenge. So that's that's kind of what I've been learning. Yeah. Um, so I've seen how things have happened in other places, but whether it actually applies here or not is is what I'm learning. If that makes sense. Um, well, well, there's a lot of reasons why Vermont's an expensive place to live, and that young people, you know, can't move here because of housing jobs etc cetera, etc cetera. Right. the solutions i mean it's pretty easy to enumerate the problems right. the solutions are hard to find right? yeah, that's the challenge yeah. so I was, that's why i asked you yeah. i mean you obviously could put down the problems but like you can read them in a newspaper every day right you no know, <laughs> not hard and and and, and the solutions like i, I might ha understand some solutions but putting the pieces together of what a solution uh -huh. might be and hearing what other people have to say yeah, that's how I would arrive at a solution rather right? than me just coming up with my own solution. Uh -huh. And I think being on the plan board would give me those opportunities to sort of access that data and to contribute. Yeah. Well, I think you'd be a contributor. I, yeah. I like, you know, what you say, and I think you're a good candidate. But it also helps that there's two candidates and two seats open. So we don't have to be that picky about who goes on the planning <laughs> You know, it's called warm body syndrome. Yeah. You ever heard of that? I have. That's how I got the DRB. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there you go. I remember that well. Yes. <laughs> but I also was interested in hearing about your solutions because I have thoughts myself about the solutions that you know for these problems. So anyway, yes, go ahead. I'd, I'd like to disagree with the with the chair on the warm body. I'd like to put okay. I would like to appoint um, qualified individuals. Okay. And I therefore like to make a motion. I think we have two qualified candidates here. Oh, both Glenn you're being and very Selena. generous. Uh -huh. No, I'm not being generous. I'm being, yeah. This is, this is, I'm stating an opinion. Okay. That's and okay. I would like to, um, as long as you know it's an opinion, that's good. Well, yeah. It's not, a, it's not a fact. I didn't <laughs> say fact. I'll say, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll say opinion. I'll, okay. I'll second. Thank you. Thank okay. you. For, thank <laughs> you for. So you're just, are you just doing it in one can? No. He both. Says it's a slew. Yeah. I'm appointing, I'm making the, uh, the motion to elect this late two individuals. Just, just so we don't have to append to uh, anything to the minutes, can we have the motion read to appoint Selena Moore Barton and Glenn Wayant to the planning commission? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Zoe's got it in there. Perfect. I have a motion. We have a second? I did, yeah. Did a second? Okay, very good. Any further discussion? Well, you you got this down now. Oh, I've been There's training. rules I've today. been training. You <laughs> are. You are. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, Rosie. Yes. Um, I, I just wanted to make candidates aware that in order to participate in the meeting on Thursday night, they have to come into the office and do their oath of office first. So I'll see you in the next few days, right, Glenn? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a big thing. But... Thank That's you. Right. <laughs> okay, so no more, I hear no further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The, it's uh, unanimous. How do you feel? I feel good. Um, okay. When, when when you uh, put me on the DRB, the, the thing you said to me at the time was to use some common sense. Yeah, I remember that you said that. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that. And I yeah, hope to do the same. Yeah, yeah. It's the way you should go. Well, I appreciate you coming in. It's I really okay. do. And it's the way um, you should walk through life. Yeah, common sense. Seriously. That's that's yeah. yeah thank we you have a philosophy. We have a philosophy. <laughs> he wears many hats. He usually doesn't like any of this. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I like anyway, thank you for your dedication yeah. and uh, congratulations. And good luck with thank it. You. Good luck with it all. And thank you for all being right. in the DRB too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, right. that's so great. It. It's great that you've come forth and we appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Yep. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Take care. Bye. All right. So let's see.
Consideration of public assistance sub recipient grant agreement. This is a grant agreement that basically allows we are signing with the state of Vermont for the state to give us our FEMA funds. Okay. Because the federal funds go to the state, yeah. then the state gives yeah. them to us. Uh, that's why so it's our recipient. So and I actually that. gave you, we are ready to receive our first project's funds, which oh, nice. we will be receiving $11,462.34. The total cost we incurred for that was $15,283.12. And this is related to Project 730555, which is our emergency protective measures project, which is essentially the work that was done in the immediate, like during the flood. This was work primarily concentrated on um, Horn of the Moon Road. It was also temporary work um, done at Sparrow Farm and um, Sodom Pond Road. So this is kind of the work that was either Again, done while the water was coming down, trying to open up corn, um, and then the work that will be pulled back out. Um, so any temporary work that is not yeah. permanent. So this is project number one. I've submitted two more since then. Um, I've submitted Jacobs Road, Muddy Brook Road. Um, oh, and I submitted Road Group One, which is, was a series of nine roads that I can't tell you right now what those nine are. And then I'm in the process now of working on road group two, which has some completed work. Everything else is not completed. So all the completed work has been submitted to FEMA. I am working now on road group two to break that out between what's come. I've already done it, but I've been working with FEMA on how this has to be documented because this is the first time I'm documenting not yet completed work. And they will right. go ahead and fund us um, from what I understand. They'll fund accordingly. Us? Right. So the, As we this, move through the project, this road group two that I'm working on right now, there's two projects that we've done some work for. That I, when I say we, I'm talking stuff the road crew is doing. I'm yeah. not including things like Sanders Circle and Sodom Pond, which are yeah. going to be contracted out. And in Sparrow Farm, we haven't done anything yet on besides by the culvert. Um, so, road group two, there's future work to be done on Fitch Road, Guyette Road. And one other one that I'm drawing a blank on right now. Um, and I, Guthrie has estimated what needs to be done. He knows what material he needs to use. We know how many hours, how long the crew is going to need to do it, what equipment they're going to be using. So I have all of that. I yeah. just don't know yet when they're going to do it. Yeah. So I am working on, I've already written the project narrative, which we have to write that spells all this out for FEMA. But I asked FEMA, how do I document it? Because they have an Excel workbook you have to send them. There's other pieces and parts. Exactly. So yeah. um, <laughs> I got the answer back after we went through all this last week that I yeah. how I need to now break this apart to give to them. So I need to do that this week. And we meet on Thursday. And then this one will go. Um, and then... Uh, Horn of the Moon is another one that I'm going to try to estimate. Um, I don't know of how far we'll get with that one before the end of April, but um, but we're kind of in. So anyway. So you estimate it and you send off your estimate to FEMA. So I have to send them actually, what I just found out on Friday was I have to send them two separate pieces. So okay. it will be, here's all the completed work. So when yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to present you all at the next meeting, okay. all of the project narratives that I've written to date. Right. Um, which they're kind of the good thing to read, the easy thing to follow. The yeah. FEMA workbook does not, is not designed to be printed okay. um, because you we transact everything electronically. Okay. So it doesn't print pretty. If I printed yeah. that for you guys, it's painful to try to look at. If you read the project narrative, it literally reads, you know, here's the project. Here's what happened. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of the same words repeated over and over and over again. The yeah. floodwaters overtook a yeah. cross pipe or culverts. Yeah. We don't use right. certain words that you don't want to use when you're talking yeah. to FEMA. Yeah. So um, I've learned very well. My, my FEMA PDMG now gives me a big gold star on everything that I do because yeah. I've learned how to FEMA speak very well. Yeah. I like, the, I like, last the, I like the action. So yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, so he gave me a, a big gold star for the last two I've given him, but I'm going to give you guys copies of all of those. There's a binder in my office. So when I send these projects to FEMA, I have to send them the project narrative, which outlines everything that's happened. I have to send them their project workbook, 
I have my own Excel workbook, by the way, that all of this lives in as well. That's way more detailed than what FEMA gets, um, just because I have to do theirs in their format. I have to give them copies of everybody's timesheet. I have to give them copies of everybody's pay sub. I have to give copies of all the canceled checks and invoices for everything that we paid. So they get yeah. basically a zipped folder from me that is everything now for the right. project when I give that to him. Yeah. And then he uploads everything into their grants portal. And by the way, Michelle and I are both of equal level in the FEMA grants portal oh, with access. Um, FEMA is, Michelle is the second yeah. appointed person just as Don was for Bruce yeah. um, in the FEMA grants portal. Um, so anyway, next meeting, you're gonna get everything of where we are to date. Yeah. Because at some point I need to do a line in the sand yeah. of saying, right. okay, this is where I'm at. Right, if I right, keep right. going, it becomes harder and harder to yeah. document. No, um, I get because it. then you have too many things in process. Right. So, I will give you guys a, here's where we are yeah. at your next meeting. Yeah. Um, and it'll kind of be somewhat pencils down for me in a way at that point. Right. Cause it's the 22nd, you're leaving in a week. It's, you know, it's yeah. fine. At some point next person needs to take over right. and start going. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You know, that's something she may not be able to transition while you're here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And luckily FEMA is very helpful. So keep yeah. in mind for towns that do not have a town administrator. I mean, when I, the project narratives I'm talking about that I'm writing, yeah, our program development, whatever his title is, PDMG is what they call him. Um, uh, Paul is ours now, but he's retiring. So he won't be here beyond when I'm here either. Um, they will write them. I mean, right. he's writing them for Marshfield yeah. um, because they don't have a town administrator. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, right. you know, they, right. they They'll guide help. you. They Exactly. Yeah. They help you and guide you through yeah. this. I mean, Paul will freely tell you sometimes it is the old accountant. You get the box of, yeah. of receipts and do the yeah. tax return kind of thing. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's real. I mean, he's sitting down with road sure. foremans in certain towns and he's going through this wow. with yeah. a Guthrie and yeah. he's the one doing all the documentation. Yeah. So um, they are very, very helpful um, yeah. when it comes to all of this. So we have a new guy. I'm not yeah. worried. We will have a new person. Yeah. He told me that um, likely his last day is the 19th, I believe. And he told me that that meeting we have before that I should meet the new person. I do believe at least we're going to be assigned someone that is in Vermont, oh. which I think would be helpful. Because yeah. there are a lot of people here from um, like Puerto Rico. Um just a very different it's helpful to have someone that does know the topography and yeah, understands yeah. the situation right. here so i think that would be a benefit for the town the person well the fema stuff is kind of pain in the neck and it's hugely once you get on the roll consuming. it's not that bad and really but, for some of the outstanding stuff i've gone through i think what is the hardest part of it um for like sodom pond and sander circle once we get those designs from those engineers those designs go to fema FEMA will cost it yeah. based on those designs. Yeah. And from my so initial helps. meetings from the state, their costing is, it's pretty good, their yeah. estimates. So they yeah. will, from what I understand, use those designs, cost yeah. out what this is gonna be. That's yeah. what the town will end up receiving right. funding for. Yeah. You will have to close all this out at some point, but I mean, from what I understand, that can be like two plus years down the road. So. Um, so yeah, so we, you know, I've kind of gone through the stuff that's tedious. Yeah. I think more so. I think going forward, it's going to be much higher level than kind of what I've been doing up to this point. Well, it's good that you're going to get us up to speed because yeah, it's, it's with nice. this transition of the TA, et cetera, we need to know something. It's you nice know, to know the federal government. Keep your brain turned on there. So it's always hard. Yeah. It's nice to know the federal government just doesn't write a check. No. Seriously, it's really reassuring that our federal taxpayer monies there's the yeah, like, it's, okay here right. take what you want seriously yeah. no and like i said i mean with the ones that they will estimate that's based on detailed yeah. engineer drawings I mean, it's yeah not, yeah it's not you know so no not at, all. Yeah. not at all and they um, only do that so that they can go ahead and get the money in the town's hands understanding that you are now having to put the bill for mm -hmm. that it's obviously very expensive oh and yeah it's important to state that um all of the projects I'm talking about outside of buying things like culverts, we're getting reimbursed for employees time, equipment time, things like an excavator filled out at $137 an hour. Yeah. Um, so when they're in an excavator for 10 hours in a day. Yeah. Um, so we're in a we're in a good situation that a lot of this money that is gonna be coming back to us right now, 
you would have already spent. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, got it. So, so it's good. It goes back to the general fund. And exactly. You know, wind up as a surplus, we hope. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, fine. so the only other things we have are oh, warrants. I need, a, I need a motion for you all to authorize oh, me to yeah. sign this agreement. Right. Okay. You made a motion. I'm uh, making a motion for you to sign this. Yes. For Gina, for our town administrator to sign the consideration of public assistance sub recipient recipient grant agreement. Is it can I, um uh, is it actually to authorize her to sign the public assistance sub recipient grant as opposed to consideration of? Yeah, you can eliminate the consideration. Okay. Yeah. All second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. So the next thing is warrants. Warrants, which I have right here. Um, as I pass these around, we could go over the town administrative report. We also have some other business. Um, the TA report, um, I will be, well, no one will really be in the office more than likely on Monday, April 8th. Um, and then I'm also out on Monday, April 15th. Um, the town office will be closed on Eclipse Day on Monday, a uh, week from today. For obvious reasons, as you know, things are so much as closing on that day. <laughs> um, and just didn't seem prudent for employees to be uh, trying to is get this to the a, office. Is this a day off for people be working from home? It's, it will be, it is up to, so the office is closed to the general public. If employees want to come in and work, they're welcome to do so, or they can choose to take a vacation day. Okay. Um, Makes sense. The town office server was replaced on Friday um, successfully. Haven't had too many bugs, just a few. Um, that we've been working through. So we are operating on a new server at this point now, which is great. Um, there have been three permit applications since uh, your last meeting. You can see there. And then I haven't gotten any information from the fire department yet, but you're scheduled to have a meeting with them on April 11th. Oh, that's right. I won't be here for that. Is, that, is somebody going to be able to go to that? I always have a board meeting for a nonprofit. That the second Thursday of every month, so I can never make this. Um, you know? Should we, my procedure was just to move to next week, so I might be a little, we'll see. Okay. Anybody else? I was planning on making Tom Razor will probably yeah. meet it. Oh, yeah, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Kyle, are you going to the meeting on Thursday? I'm available yeah. for it. Yeah. I can right. go. I, love to go. I, I, I assume we'll be there. It's just okay. okay. So we have two people. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, what else do you have? That's it. And then your next meeting is April twenty second. Yeah. And okay, so on other business, you want to do the animal control officer. Carl, uh, discussion. Yes, I, I move to appoint John Boucher as second animal control officer. Oh, second. We have a second from Zoe. She did it first. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. All right. Aye. aye. And then the other business I was going to ask Gina about the hours for the part time road crew person is still 32. What's that? It's a conversation we need to have with Guthrie. Yeah, because I don't even know why we have, we've never had part-time help putting in so many hours in the winter. Never. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't an extremely busy winter for icy roads or whatever, so I'm not really sure what's going on. And you had already said to him, it's got to be 24 hours or less. Now he's 32 hours a week, regular basis. That sounds like a part full-time employee. So I'm not sure what's going on. And I know it's going to be working as uh, hot on our budget for labor. So anyway, I appreciate you being on top of that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Me too. I just when I go over the payroll, it's like oh, 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 you know. And it hasn't been like other people have been sick. They haven't. And you know, everyone always has a few hours of being sick. But uh, Ken is back to work. I mean, he's been right there. He's only had a few sick hours. 
he was uh, the person we were concerned about. Right. Just, right. He had some health issues earlier in the season, oh, but yeah. he's he's back to work. So, and they did a great job on the roads last week, actually. So anyway, that was just my question. I'll just have to ask. Yeah. Um, anything else? So I will call tomorrow. Let everybody know. Yes, thank you. So, yeah. Um, what is the? I guess you can email us all with whether she just accepts it. Well, I can't really do an email because that's what that's then that's a meeting. I'll just have to text each one like I did I've done okay. before. So I can't I can't have a meeting. Right. No, you, you can. You can email out information to people. It's just that if we reply all, oh, it's a problem. Oh, you can reply to me individually. Yes. Okay, that's what it, We just yeah. like to have the information. Yeah, I, as Zoe I want always, you to have the information. As Zoe, as Zoe always says, do not reply all to all. No, she says, oh, I just made a mistake. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so you she can, says, I put reply all. <laughs> and then she says, right? do not reply. So you can tell us anything. Yeah. There's no reason for us to reply. We would just like to be informed. Well, you can reply, but reply individually. Individual. Right yeah. Okay. We got that straight. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. We have a second? Second. We have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.